Ni hao nyang hello, I am the Dark Fairy and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. So I guess let's find out if we're actually All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? If we've Stanley restarted for real? Meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I'm so curious because the confusion ending said that it ha there was like a 6th, 7th, and 8th restart, but maybe that was also like our ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah. he entered the door on his left. Okay, now, so last time we didn't follow, we went right, so now let's try left. So we don't get go to the lounge. Okay, so now this is new. Tips for not getting fired. Talk yeah, less. Not a single person here Do either. unbelievably Fear amazing work all the time, every day. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Meeting room. C cabal planning? Do not alter without consulting the whiteboard manager. Rip, Rip Franz? What? Office party. So what is today then? Hmm. I wonder if I could find what to do about 432. Financial panic meeting were broke Wednesday, termination Tuesdays, marketing Mondays. This this got box is too small. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Right next to his agenda, reflect. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Ongoing, get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergize papers? Push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergized guy. The paper synergized guy. Who oh, moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of blah 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 blah. Interesting. <laughs> this game is quite clever. Bi-quarterly post review review. A lot of percent. Space between the teenagers? There's something in the ideas bin. 10 no more bins or trash cans. 20 renaming of the ideas. Something firing of me. Work harder, hard worker. We need hopeless reviews 402 and 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion but I think that's a stupid idea more water coolers more water cooler heaters tries to be need to be more hip to appeal to the teenage demographic find teenagers to put in the teenage demographic big net some sort of child trap what <laughs> What do people want? Things. Happy feeling. Nope. Mike James, you were fired. <laughs> money. More money. Things. But with money to buy more things? Graphs? Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. Stark market is here somewhere. Colored in segment. Hi. Stripes. Requires more secondary research. What is hot? Profits. 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 You ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself? Oh, what are your dreams for the future spring break? Comatose? Mitosis? Pollution? Talk radio? Okay. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time every day with no expectation of promotion or recognition? Don't get fired. Great. Very helpful. I want to see what the... How to solve a dispute? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passively, aggressively. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Oh no. Okay, that's enough. Oh no, there's another whiteboard. To do synergize. Uh, they really like the whole synergizing thing. Core value expenditures. Shift global market parade. Everyone is unique. You most of all, and they're like all literally like the same character, just with different clothes and hair colors. Number of slides on this, this slide. Slides, charts, charts, and slides. Monetize free to play. Help, I'm a post-it. Okay. 
That's enough. Ugh. Broom closet. Hey, Chris. Are you in there? Am I now, Stan Chris? stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I thought Chris was supposed to be in the broom closet. Can I take stuff? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Can I become Chris? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Can I just stay here? He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? Doing sweet... Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Why? So I can listen to your commentary. Here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I want to become Chris. I'm tired of being 427. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a this reason is entertaining. for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even sure. occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. It has to because it was the only door I've been able to open. On my own. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I feel like he just somehow made fun of his own accent. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably <laughs> only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. I love it. Drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Yeah, keep going. This is entertaining. What else? What, you, what well, else you I've got? I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. No, I'm moving around. See? This broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical melody of some sort shut down your <laughs> Is there a broom closet ending? On the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. But there's nobody here. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Person at this computer? Prey to any number of your Meeting me, human not suddenly. Vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. He's Please aware then. Remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes Aww. in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Oh, do I have to? Is that it? I can't stay in here and, like, force an ending. I don't think he's going to say anything else. Ah, second player. It's good to have second you. Second player. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What happens if I go back in the broom closet? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Oh Perhaps dear. There's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A bougine. Fish, fungus. Look, bougine. You can hammer out the details. You want to play this game? Picky. I'll just no. be waiting for when you're ready to pick Your up cats? the story again. Okay. Oh, is that it? Okay, fine. Let's continue on, but that was fun. I can go Coming up or to down. A Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What if I go downstairs? Spooky red light, sir. Spooky car, A, B. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Of course not. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All One, because two. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe 
He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. I'm not thinking All this. Of my co-workers oh. blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Can I have to replace B threes with Bs? Sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like what? For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. Except this I didn't, is yeah. all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. It is a he loop. wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently oh. float above the ground. Oh. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Hey, I asked so earlier that to go to space. And Stanley marveled that he had still Oh, not it's really out. pretty. How was he actually so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest oh, question bring of back the star field. Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Am I dead? Why is there a voice in my head oh. dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered. Oh, this is cool. I found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. That's so like and while he inception -y. Thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take... Reminds me a bit of, like, the Truman Show. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words... Or is quite a stranger than fiction? Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How but else he did, the because you created it. That? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That oh. this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. It's like a meditation thing. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Guided meditation. I am I okay. Am okay. And I'm not. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows Everyone knows. crazy people look Oh dear. Like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. But now he's narrating her saying, thoughts. I am in control of my mind. I, I know, know what is real and what, and isn't. what isn't. 
It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension... Is she going to be my replacement? Life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. All right, I think that is another ending. What could it mean? All right, let's go. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Downstairs now. Mr. Memo. Can I just crawl? Will he commentate? How am I crawling? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Fine. Here's the meeting Yet, room there again. Was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Hey, in the broom closet. Hoping he might find an answer. What happens there. if I enter oh, again? No, oh, no, 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 no. It remembers. This. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Well, it's Please annoying you. Take your time. So. No? Okay. Fine. What happens if I go in again? No? Okay, I don't think he's gonna comment anymore, but it's funny that it remembers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I guess we'll go up this time. Still trying all the doors. Oh, ooh. Remarkably plush. I would... I can't close you. Okay. Executive bathroom. Can I snoop? Mm. I can't. Chairs are such immovable objects. Okay. Oh, I'm tired of there being doors that I cannot open. Wow. This is... Stepping into his manager's oh. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Oh, it would what have been cool if the piano actually played. Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't yet incredibly by simply <laughs> random buttons on the keypad. That's clever. Stanley happened to input the correct code. By by sheer luck. luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I wanted to look around some more, but I guess there's not that much. The newly opened... what now? Oh! Pff, the giant opening in like the side of the room. Okay. What is... this machine for? Hmm... Spooky. Oh, it's very dark. I guess we can go down. Okay. Oh. Wait, why is it loading? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? But that's really Why only because the narrator is telling me. This question so. would not go unanswered for long. Thus, it's not really Stanley, but it's still the game. Slash the narrator. 
Where is this now? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Do I have to? Escape? It's cool. We always never go like the narration the route. Way had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Let's do it. I want to know. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every nope. opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Maybe death is the only way out of this place, out of this never-ending loop. This point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Please don't jump scare me. Okay. Oh, I just jumped down the elevator shaft. Is that it? Oh my goodness. Wait, I'm alive? As I'm in a minecart? Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been I'm going to get smushed. Wow, this is just like Stanley spoiler alert. Danganronpa execution. Story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this is. Perhaps his death was of no Can I get out? Like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. I don't think so. He resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief Can I duck? Life. Stanley Let's try ducking. Probably not, though. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral what? instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Why is it a different narrator now? Because does he... Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Where is this? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Oh, look at the teeny now? tiny little Do office. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Damn. Secrets? Nature paintings. Stanley's computer. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. Through the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Oh. I am a giant. Roar! Godzilla corridor. The pacing of this opening section section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. The set of two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Credits. Desk. The office. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix, mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Credits, all right. Hello, hello. Office clock. Boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Oh. Cool. cool. What's over here? Employee lounge. 
Mind control facility underground, an early version of the underground portion of the game. Okay. Let me go to the other side first. Maybe there's something I don't want to miss. Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending. Wait, I don't have, I haven't gotten that one yet. Countdown desk. Monitor room elevator. Interesting. I feel like I'm spoiling the game for myself. A little bit. But this is kind of cool to walk through this like museum of like the game's development. Oh, hey, here's my desk. Stanley's office. Pretty nice size office, not gonna lie. This place is very big. Narrator emails from Lance Perkins, subject, I have burning questions. What would you do if Stanley entered any other rooms? Dear narrator, narrator, will the Stanley Parable have infinite Quests, how many endings? If the Stanley Parable is really going to let me go shopping, I hope it will have a fine selection of desert boots. Please, I would like you to keep this proposal as top secret and delete it if you are not interested. Are these like actual? They're not actual emails, are they? Greetings, omnipotent voice. I wanted to tell you I like the Stanley Parable as much as I like seeing a humorously small badger in swim trunks. Interesting. Okay. More endings, fewer endings, more right narrators, fewer narrators. HD Remix. I'm completely lost now, by the way. I don't know where I'm- oh, where I'm going. The apartment timer? What? Okay, I should say- I'm lost now, though. What is in here? What is this? Zending? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't pull the levers, boo. Is- okay, is there like an exit that I can reach? Cause I don't really want to wander. Oh, I don't know. How about- they're throwing a surprise party for him. Oh, narrator outtakes. That's cool. Oh, okay. So this wasn't a secret. Um, okay. Let's find an exit, maybe. Because it said, told me that it I would be taken somewhere or like back into the game. Oh, exit door. Oh yeah, this room duh. <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? What, me and the narrator? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time nah, choose for you. Gonna... Don't let time choose Ooh. Oh shit, it's just done. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool though, that the game actually just stops when Stanley said, so I have to begin the game again. This is pretty cool. How long was I sitting there? Stanley oh. wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? 
Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Okay. There's one thing I want to try. Before maybe ending the episode. Is if I go left... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right, and I keep going through the lounge Yet or into the person here meeting under. room. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> it's boarded up. He won't let me go in the broom closet anymore. That's so funny. He just got tired of my shit. All right, I'm gonna end this one here then. That's. I think I'm guessing that there there have to be a few more endings than this. Um, we can always try going upstairs to the boss's office and then going to the main control room. I might do that next. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications when I put out new videos. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.